Hello Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. For those having issues with your person right now, we are going to find out from spirits and angels if you should stay or leave this connection. Please take this advice lightly as it is a general reading and use your best judgment. Okay. Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Spirits and angels, please show me should Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn stay or leave their current connection. Got the world here in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this actually indicates stay, okay? <laughs> because we got the Empress and the Star. But again, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, use your best judgment, okay? This is a general reading. So um, don't take it, don't take this advice too seriously. Just take it lightly. King of Cups here, this person actually loves you, okay? Uh, they could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or that this your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and Temperance here is in reverse. So that means maybe there's some disharmony going on between you and your person. However, we've got the magician here. That means, you know, you can manifest this connection or your person, both of you can manifest this connection into a really good one, into your dream connection with a star here. If you want to, okay, if you're willing to, if both of you are willing to, because uh, look at these two here, both of you are actually in an upright position. Some of you could be in the same gender relationship, okay, not all of you, uh, just some of you, but I somehow feel like the king and the, the king and these two kings could be the same person. So you could be dealing again with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and I feel like. They're passionate about you and that they do love you. But right now, it could have something to do with their own, whatever they could be going through right now, temperance and welfare. So something that is, um, I feel like they could be emotionally unstable or that they're going through a lot of stress in their life. Um, they're not at the best place in their life. They could be stressed because of work or because of any other personal issues that has nothing to do with you and uh, for some of them maybe it has something to do with you maybe both of you are at disharmony right now not speaking with each other or not seeing eye to eye because if you look at the empress here the empress is looking towards the right i, I believe empress is you okay because i do read the empress as a, a virgo taurus capricorn and i think this should be your person but then again roles can be rough first i feel like hmm I feel like your person that you're currently in a connection right now, um, they're still facing towards the left. So something about the past that they still kind of find it really hard to move on from the world and reverse. Again, it may have something to do with you or it may have something to do with their own past, with, with their own trauma. Whatever they could still be kind of fixated with that is causing this um, imbalance with the temperance and reverse. However, the king of cups is is looking or facing towards the future towards the right so that means um they actually want to love you they actually do have uh emotions for you romantic emotions for you but then again king of cups is somebody who doesn't really quite like to express how they feel so they're just harboring this uh feelings for you they are really really strong feelings i would say i mean they're willing to love you to to with a magician here I feel like they're willing to make things happen for the both of you. But I would say uh, Earth signs for Taurus and Capricorn to answer your question today. It's yes, uh, Spirit's trying to say, uh, Spirit's and Angels are trying to say, yes, you should stay in this connection, but it's not without work. Yeah, Six of Swords here is in my first and Ace of Wands here in my first. Hmm. I definitely sense actually the spark is there, even though if it's in it's it's in reverse. But I feel like somebody here again, who knows? Roles can be reversed, but somebody here may still be upset or you know, um, still is clinging onto something from the past. Okay, but actually ready to move forward. 
may have some fear. Six of Swords here is in reverse. This indicates stay as well. The world in reverse indicates stay because uh, if it's in the upright position, I would read it as, okay, you need to close this chapter out with your person and then, you know, start a new chapter on your own. But it's in reverse. So it's telling you to stay. And Six of Swords in reverse again also. It's like a stuck energy. So <laughs> to me, this indicates stay. However, we've got a problem here because we've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Either it's because... Mm, because I feel like when the Ace of Wands is in reverse, it may indicate a rejection, okay? Uh, somebody may reject somebody here or that somebody may be feeling um, that they're not attractive enough for the other person. I don't know. There is this sense of, because the Empress is sitting, you know, he, right here and the Empress is of course, at the highest level, higher than the two kings here. So somebody may be thinking, I feel like this has something to do with maybe your person, or it could be you again, Rose can be reversed. Some insecurities that I'm seeing here because they may feel that they're not up to your standard, uh, that you're better than them. Um, and then, or it could go vice versa. So we've got the star here. So the star is a major arcana. You've got one, two, three, four major arcanas, right? Actually, one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. These three major arcanas are beautiful. I feel like it definitely says to stay. Um, that means, you know, the star indicates a dream coming true. This could be a dream uh, relationship, <laughs> some a relationship that you've been dreaming for of, you know, uh, what, however you, you dream of uh, of a relationship. Some of you want it this way. Some of you want it a different way. But I feel like the Empress, most likely it's a lot of you just want to be respect it you want to be respected you want to be valued right because the empress is somebody valuable somebody uh somebody i would say it's a high value woman or high value man again doesn't matter he or she is not gender specific but three of ones is here so it's definitely saying to give it some time okay give it some time if you're currently connected with this person you're wondering if you should leave or stay yes we're saying that you should stay it feels like eventually this person will see your value will see your worth okay and the star both of your connection will heal okay will eventually heal somebody will see your person will will see that but <laughs> in the right time uh three of wands yet yeah. when the time is right they will see it okay so but let's see more okay so we've got the sun here this is another yes to me right and especially when the first card that came out was the king of cups here so it's also a yes to stay to stay in this connection but eight of cups here it feels uh, maybe for some of you two of pentacles here obviously if you're reading if you're watching this reading that means you're indecisive whether you should stay or leave so this definitely indicates that right and the world here is in my first and eight of cups is like moving forward or moving on but i feel like so with the seven of pentacles above the eight of cups and the two of wands in reverse hmm Another thing that I'm getting here, to be honest, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, it feels a bit like, uh, Spirit's Sp Sp probably trying to say, if you were to leave first, okay, try and leave, but not a big, <laughs> not the big leave, as in not a permanent, not permanently leaving a person, but p perhaps leaving behind certain things that you used to do for them, um, the attention that you used to give them. And to make them see the sun here, some of you, it could be literally leaving, leaving your person. And, uh, you know, physically, if you both of you are living together, you, you know, maybe if you move out, then they will see very clearly with the sun here that they, they, they'll see very clearly your worth and your value here with the Empress, right? Actually, I told a friend of mine, she's actually a Capricorn uh, in Malaysia, and uh, she was having some issues with her, uh, then I think they were engaged but now they're married happily married with kids and everything so I'm so happy for her so they were living together for a very long time um so she was saying a lot of things how you know she, he, she has been discussing this thing with her her uh then fiance um about about what she was unhappy about what she was unhappy about the connection and everything but he he wouldn't listen he just keeps repeating whatever he was you know doing that really made her uh starting to 
fall out of love <laughs> from of him so but anyway long story short so i told her i said why don't you you both of you have been living together for so long five years six years why don't you move out temporarily just tell him i just need some time i just need some space move out because sometimes people get too comfortable you know uh too comfortable and they think that their person will never leave them just let, let him taste a little bit of your absence so i told her that and she did it right and she only left for one one day i think he came chasing after her already and things change after that for sure so i feel like for some of you maybe you need to do that okay i wouldn't say to stay stay and endure everything that you think you know is not right because you know that means you're going to be this you know somebody whom it's gonna allow somebody to walk all over them you're not you're not a carpet you're not a rug so but anyway i feel like a lot some of you perhaps leaving temporarily like moving out on just not in, as invested anymore would make your person realize with the sun here right they will see things very clearly that you know that you are worth it and then that the star here i feel like both of you uh if you do stay in this relationship and this could be i feel like could be part of the i feel like spirits just i don't know i just keep getting that spirit spirits tell, telling you to like leave but leave temporarily right <laughs> just scare them a little bit that's what i'm getting here and we've got the seven of pentacles and the two of wands in my first i would say it's stay yeah so the answer to your question today for Taurus and capricorn is to stay but perhaps you need to leave for a little bit you know temporarily again just to scare them a little bit that way they can see with the sun here very clearly that um that they need to make some changes okay yep that's definitely what i'm getting here <laughs> this is your reading i hope you resonated i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm going to leave you with two videos on the screen right now these videos are from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel if you're interested check it out and i will leave you also with one video on the screen this video sorry a playlist on the screen this playlist has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions but um they're still new they're, they're still valid so check it out don't let it go to waste click on it scroll all the way down look for your sign there could be some other important messages for you over there and also i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below and for those of you who like to be notified every time when i post your videos don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care bye